and the starter's orders and they're off. Well, it's a very good afternoon and welcome to Great Yarmouth Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Today we're hosting the Great Yarmouth races and the first race starts in about 10 minutes time. It's the YouTube Content Creators Handicap Stakes. The horses are in the paddock getting ready and we're just going to have a little wander around. Today I've got Savannah with me. Go out front and say hello Savannah. Say hi. Hi. What are you doing? Jumping around? And what are you waiting to see? Horses. Horses, yeah. Let's go and have a look and see if we can see them in the paddock. Yeah. It's race day today and the first race is about to start. Now you can see just how close we're pitched to the race course here. So we're going to get a very good view indeed. We have Savannah with us today, who's here for the racing and singing in the background. Now these are the, the crew that's just arrived. Their job here is to get the horses in the stalls. First race is starting just over here. And the horses will be making their way around very soon. First horse is making its way around now to the stalls. Horse number two, that is caravanning with the missus. Here comes a nice grey. This is a number six. This is uh, Helen and Martin's Motorhome Treks, horse number six. Horse number five here, this is a fancied filly. This is Robin Lynn on tour. Horse number one, Caravantastic, just making its way around now. I'm waiting for one more to come round. There should be a six in the race. I'm waiting for horse number three. Number three is in the stalls, ready to go. Number five, yeah. Number five in the stalls, ready. <laughs> I would like to get my baby. I would like to run really fast. Right. Number one's in. Horse number four's in. Two more to go. Number six is in, and number two is in. They're all in. Under starter's orders, and they're off. A mile and three furlongs. There they come, so holds two furlongs out. There's the winning horse. Horse number four. So it's a grey day at Yarmouth today. You could say it's grey Yarmouth, not great Yarmouth. So I've done a video on this site before. I'll put a link below. To that but I'll just have a quick walk around. We're between races at the moment. I'm quite surprised it's not particularly busy today. A few on this front side. Over here on the left you've got the laundrette. Also got the wash-up area, ladies and gents toilets and showers which are very warm, really clean. As you'd expect, you've got the motorhome service point just here and the uh, wastewater, fresh water and your Elson point and your waste bins are just there. Yeah. 
so in the height of the season all of these pitches will be full because it's really close to Great Yarmouth Seafront bus route right outside. I actually got a bus in today because Ellen stayed here last night with Sav. I stopped at home, did a bit of work and some gardening that had to be done this morning. But in relation to the race course, you can see the grandstands are over there. And then right over here at the far end, on the other side of the fence, is the Great Yarmouth and Case to Golf Club. So if you like your game of golf, while you're away in the caravan, then not far at all to go. More water points, waste disposal, and an Elson point just here. Just on the other side of the trees in front of me here is the Haven Seashore Holiday Park. And as we come back down the other side, you can see a fair few empty pictures. It's actually quite quiet, generally. Children not breaking up from school just yet. But bet your bottom dollar this will be rammed in a week or two's time. So I'm pretty impressed that Helen's brought the caravan down here on her own. And although she's towed before, she's never towed solo. Not only did she tow solo, <laughs> she also set up on her own. Uh, we are only a couple of miles away from this site and she would have called me uh, if she had any problems. That was the arrangement. But she wanted to have a go on her own and I have to say she's done a fine job. Obviously well taught, taught her everything she knows. The caravan's nice and level, electric, all plugged in well. And she's remembered to take the whole coil and unravel the lots so we haven't got any kinks or um, electric cable plugged in that's still on a reel, which is good. Didn't bother putting a awning or sun canopy up because of the weather, really. But this is our guest for the day. Here she is, the one and only Savannah. Hello. Hi. How are you? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Go on. Well, it's turned out to be a rather wet afternoon here at Great Yarmouth, but the racing continues, as you can see through the caravan window. Well, that's the view outside. It's raining. It's pouring. So you've got to take the rough with the smooth when you go caravanning and camping, haven't you? Well, Helen and I get about a bit. This is, uh, we're not away in the caravan at the moment. We're actually doing a bit of, uh, bit of work that we normally do. DJ Dave. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side <laughs> Here for the Austin 10 Club and we're in North Norfolk in Holt and I guess the Austin 10 Club gives it away. Uh, the big event is tomorrow, Sunday. They've had a show today but a lot of the cars have gone and they're coming back tomorrow. There's going to be about 50 to 70 Austins here tomorrow. Just must show you inside this one, this is amazing. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. My dad used to have an Austin. I don't know if it was a 10 or a 7, but it was referred to as the poor man's Rolls Royce. Okay. Yeah, that's what they used to refer to it as, yeah. Oh, look, that lady's got in that little caravan. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, we're going to have a look over there. There's a, these are all 30s cars, and I think there's a 30s caravan here to go with it. We're going to have a little look at that. So a little bit of uh, off-gridding going on here. A selection of caravans and motorhomes. All pretty hemmed in, I have to say, but 
this is the big attraction over here for me. Yeah, got a lost in six here, look, a 1930s car with a, a wooden caravan to go with it. A small cruiser caravan for Austin Sevens. 1926 replica. Well, that's great, isn't it? Has it got a motor mover on it? Hmm, where's you plug the barbecue in? Not sure. I think I thin the wheels off. Lovely, isn't it? Think he's got a shower in there? I'm enjoying it. Yeah, we're living the paint job on this one. This is great. A rare bird. Look at that. That's that's how it was discovered. Looking like that. Look what we have now. Absolutely love the paint job. It's, I think because the hood covering is not quite the way the original was, it won't quite pop up. Yeah. And it should have a little metal cover so it can do it. So folks, that's it. We've had a busy few weeks, haven't we? Yes. Um, we sort of finished off at Great Yarmouth, but we've been stayed local over the last few weeks. We've been around Norfolk and Suffolk and we've had some great stays. The weather's been brilliant until we got to Yarmouth. It's been fine, yeah. yeah. What we have noticed is the campsites aren't as busy and now there are the roads. No. You know, normally on a race day, Great Yarmouth Racecourse is rammed and uh, and that wasn't, was it, this time around? Wasn't, but then the Norfolk show was on for two days, so that could yeah. have been something to do with it. Could have, could have had a bit to do with it. Yeah. But in general, as we've been travelling around, I, I have noticed, I've said to you a few times, these roads seem a lot quieter. You know, I'm someone who's spent 25 years travelling the length and breadth of the country at, at awkward times of the day. It's very noticeable to me that the roads are quieter. It was, so. yeah. So yeah, so um, yeah, Yarmouth. You you like Yarmouth, don't you? I know it's something on our I doorstep. I do like Yarmouth. I do like racing. Yeah. And I used to be a member at Yarmouth Race Course. I used to go with my mum on a joint membership. Um, David's not that fond. You know, there's no point in buying a membership because he won't go regular. Um, don't like losing money. That's my thing. <sighs> Helen's pretty good. She you paid for the stay with your money. I winnings. actually won. Yeah, about eighty five pounds on the day. It wasn't bad. I mean, I'm not a big gambler. Yeah, how much you put on to win 85 And I don't even go on, you know, race and telly and, and stuff, which we've got um, through the week. I haven't really done much since my mum uh, left. So have you so, Have you made £85 profit? That's yes, what I yes. Oh, that's all right. So, um... Well done, love. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, the more you go, it's like anything. You get to see what jockeys are there, the horse, the breeding of the horse, and the trainers, which is quite important doesn't always work just gives you a bit of a clue yeah. where to start with and I usually go for midfielders which are horses that have done kind of middle of the road form uh, in the last few races because what we get at Yarmouth is baby horses because it's one of the only mile straight courses in the UK if not the only um, so there's no corners for the balance for them because they're only young anyway um so we have been busy, we've done lots of travelling around. We did a little slot in there about the Austin 10 because um, if you haven't worked out already, um, every now and again we often go out and do some DJ and uh, entertain the masses and uh, that was quite interesting. Well you try. I, I do my best. <laughs> uh, the Austin 10 Club at Holt, that was really good. I mean they're a national um, group but they just so happened to be in Holt and they called me and said, you know, can I come down and provide some entertainment and I said yes of course. Uh, but we got a double whammy because we got to have a look around all those lovely cars and that yeah, old caravan. They actually which asked good. us to go out and have a look, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, it did. It was a, a very nice evening we had there, actually. Um, now it's we've kind of had to put a few things on hold, and we'll we'll sort of mention why in our next vlog, I think. But um, we've had to make a few cancellations because we plan to go to Holt, actually. Holt to a new pop-up site. Oh, another one, yeah. yeah. But we've cancelled. No, not Holt. Uh, Holcombe, I beg your pardon. Oh yeah, Holcomb, but, Holcomb Hall pop-up site. Yeah. yeah, and we were really looking forward to it, weren't we? And uh, you might know that the Caravan and Motorhome Club, they sort of set up these pop-up sites on a seasonal basis. And Holcomb Hall, we, which we love anyway, uh, was quite appealing to us. But um, for reasons which we'll come into on the next vlog, we've had to cancel uh, a yeah. few trips. Ella's not been very well. Got a problem with her eye. 
Yeah, Helen referenced it, I think, in our last vlog when we were at uh, Kesingland at White House Beach that she'd got an eye infection. We've spent a number of days in London at... The Queen, Elis Ma uh, Queen Mother. Queen Mother's Veterinary, veterinary Hospital. Hospital yeah. At um, Hatfield. Yeah. And because of the outcomes of that, we've we've had to put a few things on hold. But we'll come into that. We'll, we'll mention that a bit more because we'll, we'll have a bit more information, I think, for the next vlog. So an update on Bella. Uh, so, our next outing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is going to be at an air show uh, in Norfolk. What's Old it? Buckingham. Old Buckingham Air you Show. You have trouble with names, don't you? No, I have trouble with my memory. <laughs> I've got so much going through my head, I can't remember what I'm going to talk about next. Uh, Old Buckingham Air Show. And um, we get to meet up with some fellow YouTubers, Helen and Martin's Motor yeah, Hammer nice, They just happen to be there. Oh, last time we met up with them was in a lay-by, but let's not go there. Um, You're going to take some ghost ship, you've got a keg, haven't you? Yeah, just to Helen and Martin, just to give you a heads up on this, I've actually, uh, for, for my Father's Day, one of my Father's Day presents was a keg of ghost ship. I can't manage a whole keg on my own, so I will need your help to see that off. Mm -hmm. So just bring a glass, don't worry about bringing any ghost ship, I've got plenty. So we're looking forward to that, that's uh, coming up towards the end of the month, and then we'll keep you updated on further vlogs. Anything else in the pipeline? A bit, a bit further down, but we've got a few. We've got work uh, most of August. August is so. a busy time for DJ Day. Very busy indeed. So um, the vlogs might be a little bit thin on the ground through August. And we Although we could go a midweek. Possibly because we have yeah. we have been finding actually that Sunday through to about Wednesday Thursday have been really good. Yeah. Because um, you know it's a bit quieter. And can you hear the sea? Pesky sea <laughs> It is a little bit quieter and. Um, and we quite like it, you know, so uh, we may well slot in some last minute Sunday to Wednesdays, but at the moment, yeah. nothing much planned until after the old Buckingham Air show, uh, where we've got lots planned. But uh, August is a busy time for me, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll leave it there, I think, for now. Uh, as always, if you uh, haven't done so already, um, do subscribe to our channel, because it really helps. We, uh, we love your support. It doesn't cost anything. You can give us a thumbs up, because that helps boost the channel a little bit. And if you want to leave a comment, all the better. Anyway, if you have been, thank you for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. In the next one. Not too far away. Bye See for now. Then. Bye. See you later.